I think we can all agree that this year was one of the most unusual yet. We should have known things were going to get weird when this one didn't go in for Tiger at his historically good Torrey Pines. If there's one thing we've learned this year, it's that things don't always go as we'd expect. Case in point, this bunker shot is peak 2020. Just when Colin Morikawa didn't look like he had a chance with this backward route, the unexpected happened. Talk about unexpected, we had a 91 day hiatus from golf during the pause for the pandemic. So our players had to get creative with how they practiced. Thank you. But at home drills didn't go so well for Ryder Cup captain Thomas Bjorn. Something tells me there's no broken windows in Tiger's home simulator. The pandemic did give us a unique glimpse inside players' lives. I am in here probably more than I am you know, all, all playing medals. Maybe we got a little too close of a look at times. How about that facial hair? The hair, oh, the quarantine hair. Brooks Kepka's at home hair attempts came up short. The only good thing is I got my mustache, so. It's a good distraction. <laughs> Welcome into 2020's The Best of the Good, Bad, and Unusual, which is probably the best way to describe this year. A year where Bryson beefed up, DJ dominated, we didn't have any fans for a period of time, we had the Masters in November, and Phil turned 50. No matter how unusual it gets, some things never change, like Phil Mickelson's scrambling capabilities. Are you kidding me? Told you, boys. But in our return to golf, Lefty emerged with a new look. Everything's new with Phil. It's bombs one week and shades the next. He also turned 50, marking his debut on the PGA Tour Champions and winning in his first two starts on that tour. Phil may have had a new look, but no one had a quarantine transformation quite like Bryson DeChambeau. Gaining 30 pounds during the hiatus. If you handed a, a driver to an NFL offensive lineman, and said, here, swing it. That's, you know, with due respect, that's kind of what it would look like. He led the tour with 42 drives of 335 yards or longer, with this one measuring 428. Okay, okay, with an assist, of course. It's still going, it's, his career's on the right path. It certainly is, winning the Rocket Mortgage Classic and the US Open this year. DeChambeau dominated the conversation, but DJ dominated the winner's circle. Victory for Dustin Johnson in the 2020 FedEx Cup is his. There was nothing he couldn't do. Lefty under a tree, winning from the water at the Travelers Championship. Uh-oh. That heart rate doesn't get up too often, does it? No. That's a fine pitch right there. That is a yeah. really classy golf shot. We have a champion, Dustin Johnson. And giving us a rare glimpse inside his heart with an emotional Masters win. A Masters win in November, no less. Even when he didn't win, DJ still put on a show, like when he forced a playoff with John Rahm at the BMW Championship. He gave it a great run. He gave it a great oh, run! How about that? Wow! And how could we forget Rom's putt to win it? This is going to be one of the toughest two putts of his life. Here it comes. Here it watch out. comes. He's got it. Wow. Those weren't the only crazy putt playoffs. From 50 feet, six inches, Justin Thomas thought he had the workday charity open wrapped up. The ultimate winner, Colin Morikawa, had other plans. Could it be? <laughs> Probably my favorite highlight of 2020 came on the West Coast swing at the American Express, where one armed amateur golfer, Laurent Herbatis, had the shot of a lifetime. And I heard funk <laughs> and it disappeared. So that was that was it. I mean. It was incredible. It was one of the coolest moments uh, in, my, in my career. 
My second favorite highlight goes to Charlie Woods. Tiger's son got the first eagle of his life during the PNC Championship in his TV debut. I remember doing doing with my dad, and I was about 11 years old, the same with him. And it was the most perfect moment, and uh, to have one other be able to share it was so awesome. <laughs> first eagle. See, there are some good things that came out of 2020. But one thing we missed the most was you, the fans. I know it sounds weird to say for golf, but it was very unusual to have it so quiet. Nowadays, you never know what you're gonna hear on the course. I heard the ice cream truck. I got excited. Without fans, you could hear everything. And I mean everything. Did you get that? Did I have the Nowadays, you never know what you're going to hear on the course. And anybody that can hit a shot through Celine Dion music coming from one of the nearby houses, it's big. While we all missed being at tournaments, some people had no idea they were right in the middle of them. This golf course is kind of tucked into a neighborhood, and so <laughs> while there are no fans, <laughs> you know, deep. people are just, you would see this in Scotland. But you can count on seeing bears at the Barracuda and gators on the Florida Swing. Holy smokes. That guy's been a member here a long time. <laughs> you always have to keep your eyes open on the course. I guess unless you're Sergio Garcia. I probably putted with my eyes closed 75, 70% of the times uh, in the last probably four years. Y'all, he won the Sanderson Farms Championship that way. Golf is hard enough without closing your eyes when you play. And you definitely shouldn't close your eyes if you're a course marshal. Lucky for Tommy Fleetwood, not so lucky for the other guy. Poor cameramen, they're always in the line of fire too. But rarely do players hit a camera and then turn around and flop it in, but this is Jordan Spieth we're talking about. You know who else loves cameras? Celebrities. And apparently, especially football players. Peyton Manning made several PGA Tour appearances this year, and probably because he's pretty good. That ball could come back, look at this. Look at this. I just have to be honest, I hit it out of bounds, that was for six. <laughs> Speaking of out of bounds, can it get any more OB than Tony Romo sailing it over the scoreboard and into the Pacific Ocean? But the quarterback moment of the year goes to Tom Brady's pants getting in on social distancing at the Capital Ones The Match Champions for Charity with Tiger and Phil. If that doesn't sum up 2020, I don't know what does. Thank you all for sticking with us through one of the most unusual years ever. The 2021 Super Season continues in January at the Century Tournament of Champions. Until then, from all of us here at the PGA Tour, have a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year.